I was scrolling on Twitter the other day until I saw this post. Wow. Yeah, absolutely, I will say no more. The queer community needs me right now. So obviously, I will drop my favorite suffix ship, Kurosami. But while I was sketching the poses, I thought, if I'm using the same sketch, it will be a great challenge to draw a new ship I never drawn before. And I have kinda a new obsession right now and I really want to draw them. So with this challenge, I will save a lot of time for the sketch on the second one. So for this Twitter trend, I will not just draw one suffix ship, but two. And the new one is from a very popular video game this time. So stay till the end if you want to know who it is. For Kurosami, I'm starting with the sketch and at first I'm just trying to get the shapes right. After, I will draw all the clothing and finishing with the face and hair. I decided to draw Asami at the bottom and Kura at the top of the frame because I think they fit the dynamic pretty well like this, with Asami being flirty and inviting and Kura being at the receiving end of it. Let me know if you agree in the comments or if you would have done the opposite. Now I'm finishing the clothing and the hair for Asami. And now I start dressing Cora. Now that both sketch are done, it's time for the line art. Two hours later. And with the magic of editing, I have spared you my suffering for this step. Now it's time for the base colors. Now that the base colors are done, it's time for the shading. I will only shade with the color black, it will look dark at first but we will tweak that later on. Also I wanted to thank you guys, the viewers and especially those who subscribe to the channel. Thanks to you we managed to reach 100 subscribers since the last video, just before the first anniversary of the channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, now is the time if you want to help us reach 200 subscribers. Thank you everyone! Now the shading is done, but it looks kinda dark. So first, I'm gonna boost the saturation and the brightness of the base colors under the shading layer for each character. Like this, the colors will pop even more. Second, I'm gonna put a color balance layer to color the shading with another color than black. Like this, I can color the shading of Cora's hair brown and the shading of her shirt blue and every other color for every part that I want. When this part will be done, the colors will look less grey and dirty and more vibrant. Now that this part is done, there is just one more step to finish this drawing and it's to color the line art. If the line art stay all black, it will look too thick and boring, so I'm gonna add some texture and just color the lines a little bit lighter with the colors around each of them. The Coruscant drawing is now done. Now let's go to the next one. For this second drawing, I will let you guess the ship while I'm drawing them. If you have seen the hint, you can already tell which video game they come from. I wanted to draw this ship for quite some time now, but it's not because I play the game they are in, but because I read some really good fanfiction about them 
and they are really perfect for each other, so now I'm obsessed with them. Now I think you can tell which character I'm talking about. They are definitely from Valorant and the character at the bottom is Reyna. Now let's see which character is at the top. I think it shows that it's the first time I draw Valorant characters because man, there is so much details on their costumes, damn. Maybe it will be the last time I draw them with their full battle clothes on. I think now everyone can tell that it's Sage. So my second drawing is a Rage fan art. I know they are not canon, but I really like them together. I also spare you my suffering in the line art step for this one too and move on to the base colors. Now that the base colors are done, it's time for the shading. I always do my shading with the default soft brush and I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm just trying to give a 3 dimension to every shape with the light source that I have. Let me know in the comments if you want me to draw other sapphic ships from Valorant. I'm kinda new to this fandom, so let me know who are your favorites, if it's Rage or other ones that I should be aware of. Now it's time to adjust the saturation and the brightness of the base colors for both Sage and Reyna. I will also add some additional lighting and finish with the line art coloring. Now the rich fan art is done. Here we have both drawings, let me know which one is your favorite and which sapphic ship you would want to see in another Twitter trend. Thank you for watching this video and if you want to see other art challenge, this is where it happens. See you next time!